All right, in this part, I'm going to finish off my centroid problem. So in the first part, we actually calculated the area bounded by this region x squared and 8 minus x squared. And we came up with that uh, being 64 over 3. So I've rewrote the x bar formula. So it says we'll take 1 over the area. Well, that means that's just going to flip the fraction. So we'll get 3 over 64. And then remember the formula here. It's x times basically the top function minus the bottom function. So in our case, we'll have x times the top function, which is 8 minus x squared, minus the bottom function, which is just x squared dx. And now we'll just have to simplify this down and calculate this integral. So on the inside, notice 8 minus x squared minus x squared. We would just simply get 8 minus 2x squared. So when I distribute my x to that, we'll get 8x minus 2x cubed dx. Okay, so when we integrate that, so we have our 3 over 64 hanging out front. Um, 8x, we'll get 8x squared over 2, or 4x squared when we integrate. Um, if we integrate negative 2x to the third, we'll get negative 2x to the fourth over 2, um, or simply x to the fourth over 2. Okay, and now we have to evaluate this from negative 2 to 2. Sorry, I was thinking there for a second. For some reason that felt wrong. Uh, but no, okay, no big deal. <coughs> so let me give myself a little more space up here just to actually simplify this stuff down. Hopefully the computations won't be too bad. So it says we'll get 3 over 64. Okay, we have to plug 2 in. So we'll plug 2 in for the x. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Minus, we'll plug 2 in. 2 to the 4th is 16 over 2, which will give us 8. We'll do that in just a second. When you plug negative 2 in, again, we'll get negative 2 squared, which is 4 times 4. will give us 16. Um, when we plug, um, excuse me, when we plug negative 2 in, We'll get negative 2 to the 4th, which is 16 over 2. And, well, if you simplify everything down here, it looks like we get 3 over 64. Notice the 16s will cancel out. Notice we'll have negative 16 over 2 minus negative 16 over 2, which will give us positive 16 over 2. So on the inside, we just get 0. So 3, times, uh, three over 64 times 0 will simply give us 0, and that's our x bar, which we said intuitively um, in the other video, if this thing is symmetric, this thing is certainly symmetric about the y-axis, so that means our x bar should have value 0. So that does agree with um, what, what should be happening here with our intuition. So let's compute our y, our y bar value. This one will be a little more tedious. All right, so y bar, remember, that's 1 over the area, a to b, and then it says we have to take 1 half. It says we take the top function and square it minus the bottom function squared. So I'm a little sloppy. I wrote this in the other one, dx. Okay, so let us, let's calculate this. So we already said 1 over the area. If we flip it, that'll be 3 over 64. Well, I can pull the 1 half out front. Our limits of integration will be from negative 2 to 2. So it says we have to take the top function, 8, 8 minus x squared, squared, minus the bottom function, which is x squared. And again, we have to square that, dx. So kind of tedious, but again, not the end of the world. So we'll get 3 over 128 out front from negative 2 to 2. Okay, if we simplify 8 minus x squared, we'll get 64 minus 16x squared plus x to the fourth. Um, on the outside, I'll get minus x to the fourth. So both of these will simply cancel out, uh, the x to the fourths, that is. So we still have 3 over 128 from negative 2 to 2. We have 64 minus 16x squared dx left over. So we'll have to simplify that down and calculate that. 
Again, intuitively, our y bar, the smallest y value is 0. The biggest y bar, or the biggest y value of our region is 8. So our region had better be something between 0 and 8. Um, again, intuitively to me, um, well, actually, I don't know. Is this region symmetric? Um, is it symmetric about the middle part as well? It certainly looks like it, so we'll see what happens here. So it says we'll get 3 over 128, and if we integrate now 64, we'll get 64x. The antiderivative of 16x squared will be 16x cubed over 3, and we have to evaluate this from negative 2 to positive 2. So again, hopefully this won't be too tedious. So we'll get 3 over 128. We'll get 64 times 2. 64 times 2 is 128 minus, okay, so we'll get 2 cubed, which is 8. 8 times 16, let's see, so 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 6 is 48, so 80 and 48 is 128 over 3. And then we have to plug in our lower limits of integration as well. So if I plug in negative 2, I'm going to get negative 128. Um, if I cube it, okay, so now we're, we'll just get the opposite sign, which should be positive 128 over 3. Okay, and now we simply have to combine these together. So we'll get 3 over 128. It looks like the, we'll get 128 plus uh, a 128, so that'll give us uh, 256. And then it looks like we'll get minus 128, um, we'll get another minus 128, so that'll give us minus 256 over 3. So let's see, when we FOIL this out, or distribute this out, 256 over 128 is 2, so we'll get 3 times 2, which is 6. Then it looks like the 3's would actually cancel out when we distribute, and then we would have 256 over 128, which is minus 2, and it says y bar is the value 4. And notice if you plug 2 into either one of these functions, you actually get the y coordinate of 4 out. My graph's not the best, it looks a little lopsided. But y equals 4 would cut this region right in half. So that seems intuitively correct. It seems like um, you could almost argue by, sim well, you could argue by symmetry what x bar and y bar would be in this region. It looks like x bar should be the y axis, and our y bar value should be 4. So it says in conclusion, our centroid, x bar, y bar, is going to be the point 0, 4. So again, if you were to imagine this as being a little piece of metal that's floating in space, if you put your pencil underneath it at the point 0, comma, uh, 4, this region would exactly balance. All right, so kind of nice. Everything agreed with our intuition despite all the long computations. So just kind of tedious and long to do, but hopefully not too, not too tricky.